Hello, how are you? So, just was watching um, President Trump give a speech. It was interesting. Um, it's really cool for me to uh, just kind of get back in the swing of things and seeing, uh, you know, people talk about their policies, what they plan on doing and doing it. Uh, I think Biden campaigned on some interesting policies, and he did do them. Um, you know, the student loan or student debt forgiveness thing, whatever it is. Um, you know, I just, I tend to like more conservative policies because in life you do have to be responsible. I have like, you know... I don't know how much student debt I have, and I'm not sure if it got repaid or canceled in this agreement. I don't know, you know, who in, was included, but I didn't end up getting a degree. And um, I think for most people that are in that position, uh, it, yeah, it's tough. Like you're in debt for something that you did not benefit from. I didn't place in like a really great job uh, I mean hard to say I guess it's very easy to um, yeah just like compare your life to other people and think like oh this or that but like I've worked so hard in my life for so many years uh, and now I have a kid and my whole focus is like enjoying being a mom um, you know in my 20s uh, I didn't really feel like I had um, what I needed to be a great mom because um, you want to set your kids up to be you know as successful as they can be you know um, so yeah I think for many parents it's difficult to think about sending their kid off into the workforce and them having to make it on their own. But like the alternative is much worse. Um, you know, you would rather your kid be self-sufficient than like a drug addict who's always making other people do things for them and never growing up. Um, you know, there's a lot worse things than working a nine to five. In fact, I think that's like so funny in our society that people have this like, oh, I don't wanna work a nine to five. Like, oh, so you just wanna have a chaotic life every day? Oh, I hadn't noticed. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I see where both of the, you know, both sides are coming from, but um, to me, it just seems like the liberals are always trying to tell you what to do like every time there's a liberal you know or a democratic president i guess i should say there, there's like so many restrictions you need more permits for everything stuff that like you didn't like need a permit for you know before now you do there's just like so much red tape that they introduce um because they don't really want any competition with like you know people that they deem uh, inferior to them and so the only way to really like keep those people from competing with them is to just uh, you know make everything like make all these barriers to entry because um, I'd say the whole point for most people is trying to find a job that you enjoy doing so it doesn't feel like you're working and uh, figure out a schedule that allows you to have as much free time as you can because if you had if you just sat at home all the time you would go nuts it's not fun just sitting at home it's fun to work it's fun to you know have a shared goal and it's kind of fun to not like your job you know there's times where you're like oh man this sucks and like you have to practice gratitude it's not like you're born just being grateful you know like you have to practice it and and see like, oh wow, I work, I'm working so hard to do all of this awesome stuff for myself. It is so fun, it's hard, but it's worth it because I'm worth it. And not really seeing that attitude 
<clears throat> as often from young people I don't know it's kind of alarming because if you don't have the energy now like you probably you're not gonna get like a second wind really you gotta use your energy up and then like create a second wind you know what I'm saying um so yeah um thinking about a lot of stuff I, I you know I don't really know like what the Dems are going for but to me, it just seems like the, um, you know, like the American dream to them is owning your own house or, you know, owning your own business, owning your own stuff. And um, I think somewhere along the way, these people realize like, oh, wow, I never have to work if I just like, <clears throat> you know, create a ton of passive income. And what better way to create passive income than to take away the middle class and just make them lower class so that they just have to try harder to get where they already work, you know? Um, and I think that's like a, you might say I'm fucked up and that's inaccurate, but after spending time with liberals, the standard of living that they're comfortable, like having their friends or their pets or, um, you know, even themselves living in, it does not speak well for like how they'll treat you. Because if people treat themselves like garbage, you, you think they're somehow just going to, like, treat you better? I don't think so. Um, so, yeah, that's what I see with the liberals. They're, like, really rough with everything. They try these, like, really aggressive policies. And if they're not working, like, they won't, like, really change course. They just kind of, like, stick to it. Like, nope, it's working. And then it's only when a Republican comes along and it's like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, what did you do with the budget? Like, things were good. We had a lot of debt, I'll say that. And we didn't have much inflation. Um, but, uh, yeah, everything's just, like, completely different now. And it, like, I don't know, it took a while for us to get everything back to, you know, back to code, if you will. Uh, okay, so far so good. Um, and we're, like, having to do that whole process again. So, um, yeah, it just leads me to think that, like, the Democrats enjoy this. They know how much damage they're causing. Um, you know, in the uh, speech that uh, President Trump gave, he was saying that, um, you know, one of them was campaigning and saying, like, oh, they just want to make things worse so that they can campaign on it. And I'm like, first of all, that's a really weird thing to say. And second of all, like, that's the whole damn platform. Like, they'll create a problem and then be like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll save you. I'll fix it for you. Oh, shit, I broke it. Well, it's your fault. You broke it in the first place. You shouldn't have asked for my help. Um, so it's just, like, terrible, you know, when you really think about it. Um, they're, it's, they're just, like, an abusive boyfriend, you know? And they're always, you're always like, well, but why, why did, why did you lie to me? Why didn't you just tell me that, blah, 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 that you had, <clears throat> I mean, that's exactly what I think about it. America is like the baby mama or, you know, the American citizens are the baby mama. And then the government is the baby daddy. And he has all these other hoes all over the world. And he's like, no, 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 babe. I don't need to spend the money on our kids. I got kids over here. I got to take care of, babe. You need to understand. It's just going to be for like a couple months. And then things will go back to normal. Except they like never go back to normal. And there's just like another war. And like, oh, we have to help these people. We have to help those people. And meanwhile, we're all like suffering. Like the average American can't afford to buy a house. Uh, you know, can barely afford groceries. Like everything is just like uh super expensive um <clears throat> in most parts of america and that sucks i'm at a point where like i have like a little bit of cushion so i'm like okay i haven't felt it as much but i've seen it when i go shopping i'm like what the hell um you know especially when i was back home in arizona like stuff's just stuff can be really expensive soda was a little bit cheaper soda's crazy expensive here i guess because people aren't buying it as much um but yeah, I, I I just want everyone to, like, figure out what they can do. Everyone has a gift, right? Everyone has something to offer our society. I don't know what it is. Maybe you don't know what it is, but it's up to you and your journey of figuring that out. 
to sort that out. And everyone knows that if you're thinking about a problem and you can't solve it, you have to go do something else, right? You have to go do some dishes or focus on a different task. And then you're like, oh, Eureka. Ah, okay, I know what I should do. Let's try this. Like, you are you know, I forget what the term is, but if you're like, it's like, uh, you know, information saturation, you have too much information and you're not really sure what to do with it. Um, so yeah I don't know like there's so many different kinds of jobs and different things you can do if you don't like your job go get one that you do like you know I don't know like it's just very inspiring for me to watch his speeches and just remember like our jobs numbers were crazy everybody had a job everybody was making money everybody was planning vacations and getting married and you know just going on awesome trips it just it made me feel really happy because in the Obama years, um, I was watching all of my rich friends go on vacations and buy houses and do things and be like, yeah, I saved for like six months and then I bought my house. It's no big deal. I'm probably going to rent out the rooms. And if I do that, I'll be able to pay off my mortgage in five years instead of 20. <laughs> so anyway, how are you? Uh, you know, it, like it just, it it drove me nuts and these are the same people who like would forget their wallet and not be able to throw down and this or that or the other and like i can barely afford like my rent and you're wanting me to pay for something for you but it's like a, a behavior that they are practiced at so um yeah i don't know i was so happy when i saw um you know america choose to vote red because it just means that everyone has a higher quality of life rather than just like some people um and i'm one of those people i like really do want to see everyone be happy and do well everyone not just some people or the people i like or the people that i think are cool or good enough i want people that i hate to be successful because maybe they won't be so angry anymore you know so uh, I got this other really big uh, tangle here midway. The good thing about doing braids is that my tangles tend to be like, you know, manageable, I guess I should say, because they're like midway down the hair. They're not like really close to the head or really close to the end of my hair. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to get myself settled after a long vacation situation and I I really want to get back to work that's all I'm thinking about you know what hours I can work and where uh, you know because money you, you can do stuff when you have money I just don't get it it reminds me of like seeing online for the last couple of months people being like i'm doing a no buy month i'm like you must be really fucking rich to not be able to like buy anything for a month because uh, i've been broke and i've had to do a no buy month and it sucks so hard you're like why i'm making these insane combinations nothing really tastes good i'm just eating because i have to i don't want to starve like why would you do that? rich people are so funny they always try to like you know people use the term cosplaying as poor but like you know to stay rich you kind of have to live very frugally but like just that entire concept I there were kids uh you know there were people that I would meet when we were kids growing up that you know you'd see them in the grocery store like oh I haven't seen you in a while like what what's going on with you oh well we we just got back from a cruise and we decided to do a no buy you know a no buy month or whatever and you're just like you have no kids, right? You have no pets. No, not like, whoa. Just rich people. I like rich people. I really do. But sometimes they spend way too much time alone and come and have these crazy ideas that you're like, you weren't really thinking, come on. The average American can't do, afford to do that. So why would you want to live like that? I, I don't know. I like being like everybody else. Maybe other people like being better than other people. <laughs> and I don't. I'm like, no. Because even if you think you're better, you're still the same as everyone else. So, like, how could you be better, you know? Like, just try to be better every day if you really 
have that attitude, you know what I mean? But it's always people that like put so little effort into things that assume that they're better. I'm like, you, logically, that is impossible. How could you be better? You don't put any effort into the things that you want to be better at. Make it make sense. Make it make 